right, so we've now finished this project of the of this modulation. I'm going to show you the before and after, and I'm going to show you the process that have been going on since week two, three, and four. So I'll give you a tour. Let's join me. So today is the, the second Friday, the second week of the project that I showed you in the previous video, the remodelation that I'm doing in Algarrobos, which is close to Boquete. So today I'm going to show you the progress of one week. Take a look. Okay. Last week you saw that there was a roof, right? Now we have walls and we have all the pipes for electricity. There's also floor. And uh, basically what we're trying to do is that we, we wanted to finish all the great work. So the next week we just have to put all the finishes, install lamps and everything else. The, every, detail, every detail that's left so we could deliver it next Friday. Or unfortunately, I don't know if you see, but the wall there was a, a wall here. You can see the, the union that was there. It was a wall here, and uh, that took us longer to take out because it was a block wall like this, but it, were, uh, it had poured concrete inside the block. So it was like a one big stone that we weren't thinking about while, when, when, when we scheduled all the, 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 pro the process. So, that took us a little longer than we expected. We are two days or three days behind schedule. And uh, also weather put us some put us some some difficulties on us. There was a big day, there, there was a big rain on Tuesday, and basically there was a lost day. Sorry, Wednesday. So last Friday I could not make the video about the progress that we did last, last week because there was uh, heavy rain happening and I could just not get out of the of the truck. My workers had to leave early, so it was not a big big progress that day. And, uh, we had an inconvenience on on Wednesday. Because there were too many people here working. But anyway, here I am to show you last week's progress. But what we're doing now is that we're doing the final details on concrete, finish that, while we're taking out, we're taking down the living room wall. So this is it for now. The building when it was when it, when the house was be, uh, being built first the first time we have to fix that now because the water is coming out of the every 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 part of the of the roof. What? And that happens over there. Over there. That's extra job that we need to do. Over there, over there. Maybe I'll, maybe I'll do a video later on how to build a house versus buy a house. So when we take this out, you'll, have, you'll see how much the living room grows. Because it will be from here. here look at this will be huge huge you can see we're 
doing this this column we're finishing that with I think we should finish this by Wednesday whatever's left by Wednesday so we can paint and start putting the tiles and the electricity and ceiling for the rest of the week that doesn't take long in this case because this is more uh, addition but that's what we're scheduling for this is our last week So the first thing that the client wanted to do is that she wanted to take out and increase the living room space. So we've just pulled this out. I think I mentioned this in the previous video, but we pulled this uh, wall out so we can increase and double the size of the living room. But to give it better aesthetics, we have changed a lot in the facade of the house. First, we put these steps here so we have a type of more elegant entrance rather than entering by the driveway then we addition in addition to this job we put all this uh, wall tile around the house this is new wall tile around the house we just not uh, put over here but we couldn't find the same tile that we used to so we now had to put all new tile in the house and this is a better tile because the client wanted a, a better a, a new aesthetic because the previous wall tile she didn't like it so besides that put this front porch we increased the size of the front porch because it only used to be like half of the space that it was and by, by putting these new lamps in the columns and in the house we've changed a little the feeling and the vibe that the house gave so if you see this this is anti-corrosion uh, paint and it's painted like that because the entire uh, I don't know how to say this in English but the entire uh, metal work that we're seeing it's gonna be painted in a new color to match this one because this is another color that the, the owner later uh, later did on the on, on this frame. So we're gonna match this, this, and those colors and put one color uh, for all the for all the windows. So if you see, I'm gonna take you to play to pay close attention to this wall. Tire, uh, floor tiles. If you see, we had an issue doing this job, and is that we couldn't find the same tile that we did that the house had in the in the first place. So what we did is that. So as you can see, the tiles are different. This is the new tile. This is the previous tile, the original tile. But what we did is that we mashed that tile with this tile that was previously used and it's also used here in the kitchen so 
by using this, we could manage to, to, to have the same colors in the entire house rather than just, just use the original because it's non-existent, it's not available in any store and we check like five. And because this house is like six, seven years old, it's understandable why we can find it anywhere. So we've also, because the house was up to here, we've also put a pile over here that we were lucky to find it more tiles and we finished the ceiling with the original with the, with the ceiling that matches the original from the house it's both are white but this one is six years old and this one is brand new so the owner had no issues with that because she's planning on later uh, change everything and uh, and just put gypsum in the interior of the house in the entire house so she said that this was just temporary and uh, that's uh, that's what she wanted meanwhile. So while we were doing the job, a couple of extras came along. So we put PVC ceiling all around the house. We were just putting this originally, but we decided to put around the house. So if you look, we have all all, all the ceiling around, and it was it, it's a bigger ceiling that would resemble wood. Uh, obviously it doesn't have that that style of wood but just the, the segment the, the 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 shape of the PVC ceiling and another thing that we later did that the client later asked us for was that uh, gutters around the roof uh, the roof edge so now that you've looked at the house now that you've looked at the house Let's take a look to other houses around. That's my car. So if you see, even though this is the same house that it was, this one looks totally different. Totally different. And uh, we have some issues that we had to, to handle. We had the weather. We had uh, we had some some uh, problems with tiles, but we managed to work it all along and deliver this house to a client uh, with with two days delay, two days delay. And for the type of issue that we had, two days is nothing. <laughs> so this is the job that we've done. I hope that you liked this video. And uh, if you have. If you have more questions about architecture and construction, please let me know so I can answer all your questions and doubts about this project, about other projects that you may be thinking uh, to do on your property. And if you're trying to move to Panama, I can give you uh, estimated uh, rough numbers on how much a house would, that would be. So, so yeah, this is all for today. Hope you liked this video. Subscribe to my YouTube channel and remember to like, give me a like, uh, smash that like button so see you in the next video take care bye bye